What's going on, YouTube? How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing great as usual. Thank you guys for sticking through with me, man. I got the G4. It is set up. I'm super excited, guys. Listen, I, I, I just don't know what else to say. You know, yesterday, I was just sitting in the same room just looking at these TVs and just wowed by them. All three of them. But specifically the G4 guys, it really takes that wow into a whole different level. The level of detail in this TV, guys, is like something I've never seen before. Um, I have, again, the A95L to the left, the G4 here in the middle, and then we have the G3 all the way to the right. All right, guys. Now listen to me just quick. I'm not going to be long in this video. I'm only going to be maybe like five, seven minutes. At a first glance, you don't really notice a difference, right? You really have to kind of sit back and just watch, right? Um, once you start to lock in to really see the difference and just concentrate, just push everything to the side and just watch the TVs, this is what I noticed. A lot more detail in the G4. Fine details. Um, more clarity, sharpness than the G3. Um, you know, it has more clarity and sharpness over the A95L. And the A95L is still my favorite TV at the moment, right? Um, I haven't really gotten to you know, play with the settings or anything like that yet, um, as much as I wanted to at least. But let me tell you guys, at least this, in game mode, um, it is brighter than the G3, but what I've noticed only in dynamic tone mapping, when dynamic tone mapping is on. So I'm a little upset about that. Um, I thought it'd just be overall brighter no matter what tone mapping you're on, no matter what, uh, whether it's HGIG, whether it's dynamic tone mapping off with di using dynamic tone mapping pro. But I will say none of those really show any perceptual brightness besides dynamic tone mapping on. So let's just say you have the G3 and the G4 both out with dynamic tone mapping on when you're gaming. Um, the G4 definitely is brighter. But when, let's say, you have HGIG on both TVs, well, they look the same. Um, and same thing with dynamic tone mapping off. They look the same as far as brightness goes. Now, I will say this. Even with HGIG off on both and dynamic tone mapping off on both and being perceptually the same brightness on, on both those modes, I feel like the G4 does have slightly better color than the G3 in game mode. Um, so the color to me has looks like it's gotten better. All right, so that I have noticed. These are just things I'm kind of noticing up front. You know, I got to really... Go through the settings, got to see what the settings are capable of doing, but, um, or, you know, displaying, things like that. So, you know, I'm really excited about this TV, guys. I will, I'm telling you right now, uh, details have gotten better, specular highlights have gotten better. Uh, it's just refined, the refinement that you've kind of been looking for. Um, when you compare it, let's say, to the G3, right? And again, I'm only comparing it mostly to the G3 right now because it, the G3 is the prior model year of the G4. Um, there's just little things over the G3 that have improved, right? Again, you got more brightness, um, better processing of the picture or image quality, Better gradation, color gradation. I don't really see any banding or anything going on. I do have to test that. Um, it, it's a cleaner panel, uh, at least the one that I have. Um, it's just there's more of that 3D perception, that three that depth perception is just more of it. 
And I'll tell you guys, it's, uh, I, I just, I think this is my new favorite TV. And I'm not saying that because it's new, but it just, you know, when you walk up close to the TVs and you see the extra details that the G3 is unable to pull or the A95L is not able to pull, um, man, uh, I, I mean... That's just, again, that's just my first reaction to it. I got to look into it more, but how can you beat it? It's just that simple. How is it possible? But it is. And, I, you know, LG does not get the credit that they deserve for how great their TVs are. They really, really don't. And it aggravates me because they won so many awards right in the past consecutively with their OLED technology and their processing has always been on the top of the list right everybody knows they're always neck and neck with processing you know versus Sony and um to me that speaks volumes and why they don't get the credit that they don't deserve just blows me away so you know um, but guys, I gotta say that when you're up close and personal with the TV and you're w looking at them side by side like this, you do notice a lot more detail in the G4 over or compared to the A95L and the G3 and color has gotten better too. And it's a W OLED guys. I, I just, just wowed. I'm just impressed. Just, there's so much more to it than ever. And I'm happy, guys, to let you guys know. Uh, I will get more into detail. I'm going to do a more in-depth comparison, doing movies, uh, you know, other demos, gaming, things like that. You guys let me know what you want me to show. Do you want to see... Gaming first, do you want to see movie comparisons first, uh, demo comparisons, whatever you want, let me know. All right, guys, I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much. Peace.